It is 9.57 on May 13th and here is market open on May 13th. Pre-market bullish rally started from decision point two. Five minutes after market open we had been in endless, endless bearish correction. And here is a short trade at the end of the minor bearish trend. 2107, 20, 2101.75 will the price collapse drastically lower down to 2150 remember how much S&P loves 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 decision point two the moment of truth as we speak no Fibonacci level is random price is precise pure and clear absolutely no long entries at this levels since yesterday morning we've been witnessing selling pressure when price came to reversal zone bias in this area is only bearish but will the sellers be powerful enough to break through the end of the minor trend the moment of truth very crucial area more than likely buyers will defend that level it would be highly unlikely that selling pressure will continue highly unlikely and that's how magnificent and flawless price is absolutely flawless and absolutely perfect make sense Remember how much S&P loves, loves, loves decision point two? Oh, decision point two is almost here. Again, as we discussed with my students, it's incredibly darn crucial level. Stop outside of break even. One and a half points later. Will decision point two be respected as much on this structure as it is on hourly chart? As it is on monthly chart. Reminding you, price moves in exact same sequence each and every time. So again, it's a beautiful, marvelous, flawless thing that you're witnessing again and again and again. Very crucial reminder. Know and respect Fibonacci levels and always and forever play by the rules. As I spelled out since market open, absolutely no long entries at this level. As I spelled out since market open, keep your fingers crossed that we will see serious selling pressure. Since market open, we witnessed worthless bearish corrections. Since five minutes after market open, and we took it down when bearish correction had finished. But here is decision point two. And price has taken major, major pause because the S&P loves that level. Very crucial target, especially if you trade S&P. We need S&P drastically lower down. No interest trading with 20% success rate. None whatsoever. If you don't know this Fibonacci levels, you have a lot to learn. And that's precisely the reason why I named this level Reversal Zone. And that's precisely the reason why S&P finding buying pressure. Because decision point two had been reached on our very small non-time based chart. Expect to be out at any moment on S&P as S&P reached decision point two and respect this level by a tick short from 2103 decision point two respected very important Fibonacci level and very precise we are completely out decision point two had been reached Let's update the results. It is trade number 20. 18 trades reached a very important level. Decision point two. 
Never, ever, ever ignore that level. So since S&P is stuck in complete correction and reversal zone and we're not seeing anything meaningful, we shifted our focus on oil. It is four minutes before news release. Oil inventory's expectations are at zero. Let's take a look on oil and let's remember. Price spelled out many days ago, the end of the minor trend on daily. Bullish rally is taking a pause reminding you, respect and adore the end of the minor trend and never ever ever enter into it. I completely expect this level to be broken. I completely expect bullish rally to pick up this team until 65.11, 68 and much higher up. But what do I know today and right now? No long entries anywhere near this level. Decision point one is the end of the minor trend, the most crucial level in the market structure. Because we always have minor trend, we not always have major trend. Oil can be stuck at this level, staging powerful selling formation for the next few days or the next few months. I don't know. I just only know long entries drastically lower or outside of this level. For day trading purposes, our early chart is a guiding light. And as it happens to be, oil stuck at reversal zone. Once again, reminding you, don't ever acquire position into reversal zone. Respect and adore and re oh, never, ever, ever disrespect that level. Very similar structure as S&P. What do we need to see on oil? Powerful push to the downside. Hello and continue further up. Yes, 20% chance. Acquiring long position here, the worst idea ever. As shown by sellers and price dancing in complete correction for the last 24 hours. And that's the power of alpha wave trader method. If you know this Fibonacci levels, if you know when to stay out, your trading just went to entirely different level. So keep your fingers crossed. That oil will collapse to here. That would be marvelous place to take long, but only if rules are met. Any long trades in this area, incredibly aggressive trading. So buckle up, one minute until oil news release. Let's bring up an incredibly small chart so you can watch how volatile the moves on oil will be. Less than 1% of the time we have non-volatile news. And if oil is not moving during the news, then we are completely out. Here's an incredibly small chart. Let's see what oil will do in one minute. Oil news is out. We have incredible shortage of oil. Here we go. Very crucial reminder how volatile and powerful the news is. Never, ever, ever, ever acquire position into the news. What is oil news data came out? Incredible shortage of oil, which is incredibly bullish news. That's what you get if you acquire position into this level. Price will continue being incredibly unpredictable. Only buy on oil well before reversal zone. What is oil telling us right now? It will continue drastically higher up, as I spelled out to you on daily chart. And here's what S&P is doing. Is everybody clear why I named this Fibonacci level reversal zone? Is everybody clear? Despite incredibly bullish news on oil, Nobody should be acquiring a position in that area. Bullish news and oil collapsing. Oh, how adorable is that? Perfection of a price. Reversal zone and a play on both S&P and oil. Collapse on oil for 80 ticks from reversal zone. Who cares about bullish news? Anybody wants to pay attention to the news and fundamentals and disrespect the price? That's what you get. Incredible shortage of supply. Very bullish news. 
but price respecting reversal zone. We need to see price as low as possible, preferably here. Price could dance here forever and ever and then will blast through. Any long entries well before reversal zone. Never into it. And that's the power of the price and Fibonacci levels. Never, ever, ever disrespect reversal zone. Never, ever, ever, ever get tempted to acquire long position here. Every trade well before. As I warned you, you're witnessing bearish correction and eventually you will see bearish reversal. This is key area. No long points of entry anywhere. Exact same thing applies to oil. Oil despite very powerful bullish news. Sellers continue. We are monitoring the response at this level. Both instruments incredibly similar. And both instruments showing you it doesn't matter what you trade. It doesn't matter what instrument. It doesn't matter what time frame. If you know Fibonacci levels, you can trade any instrument and any time frame. All you have to do apply alpha wave trader rules. This is very crucial reminder of the reversal zone on oil monthly. All spelled out by alpha wave trader method since 2011 where reversal zone will be. Oil fought for dear life here for four months and this is the bullish rally. As I warned you and spelled out to you, oil is heading up and up and up and up. All the same formula used on one minute chart applied to monthly. Doesn't matter if it's Apple, Schmapple, Amazon, Netflix, ETFs, QQQs, VIX, stocks, options, price is the same everywhere. Monitoring S&P and monitoring oil. Both oil and S&P at decision point two. Ah, oh, very bullish. A very powerful news and very powerful reminder and very powerful collapse. So here's the key moment. Will buyers be able to defend this level? Or will the collapse continue to here? This is precious, beautiful, marvelous place to monitor for alpha wave trader rules. All spelled out by the price many weeks ago. S&P in exact same place. And again, very powerful reminder. This is oil hourly and this is oil monthly. It's all the same formula. No reversal levels and play by the rules. The skies are the limit. Both instruments at the same levels. What is price showing me right now? At any moment this level will be broken and S&P is heading here. Our buys sincerely this morning remained firmly bearish from reversal zone. That's precisely the reason I named this level reversal zone. Will 1698 be broken to the upside on oil? Next level 6104, after that 6110. But one step at a time. Just like oil stock on decision point two to the downside, finding selling pressure. Reminding you, never ever ever disrespect decision point two. So as we discuss with my students, I will say goodbye to oil at any moment as S&P starts moving. I only brought in oil because S&P was completely asleep. But the beautiful thing happened on S&P, it collapsed down to decision point two. Exact same thing as oil had done. Again, both instruments currently at decision point two on S&P and oil. Bias at this area is only bullish. Bias in this area is only bullish. Will the bias be powerful enough to continue further up on oil than decision point two, 6082 area? The moment of truth on oil, the moment of truth on oil. 
This level is broken. Next level, 6088. Oil blasting through 61. This trade migrates into hourly chart. But one step at a time. Pay attention. 6082 non time based chart. To the upside, 6075. Decision point two to the downside. It is not something I can say about S&P. S&P collapsing, heading drastically lower. Decision point two. Respect and adore this level as I tell you and show you time and time again. You played by the rules? The skies are the limit. Fundamentals on oil are worthless. Shortage of supply? Reversal zone reminding you again and again and again. Absolutely no long trades at this level. Both oil and S&P heading drastically lower down. Oil to bullish very quick trades. Both reach decision point two and reverse sharply. That's all there is. Pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits. An exact same level where you're witnessing S&P hourly and oil hourly collapsing from is exact same level where S&P monthly is sitting at currently. Which means we'll continue seeing bearish correction and then complete collapse. And that's the power of the price and Fibonacci. Tells you everything you need to know far in advance. S&P spelled out all of these levels since 2009. And here we are in 2015 watching how crucial this Fibonacci reversal area is. Very powerful dance on S&P between the levels. The fight is in. Will buyers be powerful enough to break to this level? I highly doubt it. This is very important level of support. Again, I'm interested to see S&P here. I expect to be back for market close. This is the place where a conservative trader will be looking for a long point of entry, but only if rules are met. We are in very dangerous dance between the levels. Nothing spectacular. The dance may continue for quite a while and then sharp collapse. So will S&P shock and floor us and would break through this level? That remains to be seen. Highly unlikely. The moment of truth on S&P. Will buyers pick up this team? Will they blast through 2096.50? Showtime? on S&P. Will bullish trend pick up this seam? 2098 is next. We are at the end of the minor bullish trend to the upside. We are at the end of the minor bearish trend to the downside. The magic of Fibonacci playing out in front of you. Do you know your levels? Do you know what not to short into? Do you know what not to buy into? Do you know where the end of the minor trend is now? If you do, you don't need anything else. Just never, ever, ever, ever break the rules. Buyers struggling immensely to break through 2097. And barometer is telling us, oops, sellers picking up this team. Bullish trend is very minor. If that's the case, I will close the room. And I expect to see at the market close, which will confirm what I said earlier. S&P is heading south, south, south. 2080 will be a dream place to be. That's where we took long from yesterday, right after the open for 7 points bullish rally. So here we go. 2097 respected. Here are the levels and they continue playing out by a tick. Do you know your levels? Do you know where decision point one is? Do you know where to expect selling pressure? 
Do you know what separates minor trend from major? One more moment. We are out. Look forward to seeing you. The last closing hour. Incredibly important level. The end of the minor trend had been respected by S&P as spelled out earlier. The fight between the trends is in. Again, coming back for the market close last our expect to see s and p here few more minutes and we are out as i warned you it's highly unlikely that the bullish trend will become something more than minor it's highly likely this level will be broken this is the dance and it's been playing out the last 30 minutes just showing you the power of Fibonacci levels. The fight is in. For the last 35 minutes, price dancing between key Fibonacci levels. We discussed with the students another trade that's setting up. Price will be revisiting 2097 level in just a second. Here we go. Showtime. 2096 is being broken, 2097 lacks level 2098. On this different chart, it is reversal zone. What chart you trade is your choice. 2097 respected on the same chart we've been watching for the last 40 minutes. Two points on S&P on one lot is $100. Two points on S&P 10 lots is $1,000. So far, one and a half point first trade and two points second trade. You know the advanced method, your point of entry, your stop is drastically smaller. Your ratios are drastically better. Twenty ninety seven remains a problem. Never get sold watching this Fibonacci levels. This is flying after forty minutes of fighting at the end of the minor trend. Twenty ninety level is here. Twenty ninety eight stop outside of break even. Anybody wants to use any indicators? You may speak now. Isn't price magic? It never gets sold. I warned you, in this case, 2098 is key level, not 2098 and a quarter, because it's larger time frame level. The rule that has no number in a play in front of you. Is it clear? It doesn't matter what you trade. Identify the instrument appropriate for you and your psychological comfort and your risk management. Identify if you're a day trader or position trader and play by the rules. Every day is a test and that test never ever ever ends. So here we go decision point two to the upside. Bam! Remember decision point two to the downside. Remember decision point two on S&P monthly. Who cares what time frame that is? Price is the same everywhere. Bullish rally picking up the steam. Oh, it's going to get so incredibly interesting if this bullish rally will pick up the steam and fly till here. Woohoo! One step at a time. Decision point two must be broken first.